Hello dear students, today we will learn about soil conservation from the chapter soil erosion and its conservation. You know that it takes several years to form soil by different process. So we must not destroy the soil with different activities in the name of development. To prevent the wastage and degradation of soil, we must make effort to protect the soil. You know, for the name of development like making building, making factories, we cut down trees which cause erosion of soil. Not only that, we throw garbages here and there for which the health of the soil also degrade. For the use of pesticides, insecticides, and chemical fertilizer the health of the soil is also decreasing so we should make a port to protect the soil from wastage and degradation such way of taking care of soil is known as conservation conservation of soil can be done by many process first on first of all is planting trees in a large scale Next, uh, by farming in a different way, like terrace farming, by cover crops growing between two rows of crops, by strip farming, by crop rotation, by making embankments, in the riverside and fields to prevent washing away of soil by heavy rain by preventing overgrazing so these are the way that can be followed to prevent soil erosion and degradation of soil so first one is planting trees the process of planting trees and taking care of them to see that they grow well is called afforestation Plant self to conserve soil as their roots hold the soil tightly and prevent them being washed away or blown away. Hills and mountain slopes should be covered with trees. The trees help in protecting the soil and prevent landslides. So you know what is afforestation? Planting of trees in a large scale is called afforestation and their roots hold the soil tightly which prevent the soil washed away by rain and blown away by wind. So the slopes on hills and mountain if covered with trees, it prevent the soil from erosion and also prevent landslide. In this picture you can see the slope of mount uh, hill protected by are covered with trees which prevented landslide. Not only that, uh, trees also prevent uh, soil erosion near the uh, river bank in the beach of the ocean or seas. So planting trees is required. Next uh, another way is terrace farming. It is an important agricultural method that has made the farming process in the mountain part of the world possible. For this type of farming, the idle mountain field or the region become productive. So, what is terrace? Terrace means steps. So, terrace farming is a method of farming by cutting down the hill slope step by step and farming there or cultivating crops. Terrace farming slow down the flow of water from the top of the hill to the bottom and prevent soil erosion. So this method of farming can be followed to check soil erosion. <coughs> Terrace farming is commonly used in Asia by rice growing countries such as Vietnam, Philippines, Indonesia. So mainly rice, uh, maize, 
these are grown in such type of fields for this step or terraces it can hold water for long time also so water cannot flow down from the top to the bottom of the hill another process by growing cover crops after a harvest and before the next sowing season the land is bare the farmer grows cover crop like grasses creepers and shrubs to prevent soil erosion Cover crops are the first growing plants that cover the ground and prevent soil erosion. Sometimes farmers grow herbs, shrubs, and trees along the boundaries of their land to prevent soil erosion by wind. So, the cover crops like grasses and creepers not only hold the soil tightly by their root, that means they have um, fibrous root so grasses with their fibrous root hold the soil tightly not only that the leaves spread over the surface of the um, land which uh, prevent the soil from directly washing away by rainwater and also blown away by wind Here in this picture you can see between two rows of crops uh, grasses are sown. By this way soil erosion can be checked. Another process of farming is strip farming or contour farming. The strip cropping is followed to prevent soil erosion. Here different crops are grown in alternate lines in the field like uh, between two rows of uh, maize, oats or grasses can be cultivated or soybean or corn. So the width of the strips remain equal. These are done in the nearly level areas around hills, not in the up down of the hills. Such type of farming prevents soil erosion and can utilize water properly. And the soil also can hold water properly. Next process of farming which can prevent soil erosion and conserve the health of the soil is crop rotation. In this type of farming different crops are cultivated in the same field in a proper season throughout the year. Such type of cultivation prevent soil health. <coughs> in this picture you can see a maize, then mustard seeds, then potato or basils. Such type of crops can be cultivated throughout the year in different season. In this way, the nutrients of the soil remain preserved and health of the soil also prevented. So, conservation of soil means not only prevention from erosion, it also maintain the health of the soil. So if same type of crops are grown in the same field throughout the year, the nutrient of the soil not remain preserved. For this, different types of growth which provide um, nitrogen uh, to the soil, such type of crops can be grown in alternate season. So the health of the soil remain preserved. So crop rotation is one of the way to prevent soil health. Another process is making embankment. So embankment or the bonds are the structure like thick wall that is made up of earth or stone or concrete 
which are built along the river side and field such embankments or bond can prevent the soil washing away during heavy rain or flood embankments can be seen near the river side between two fields in dams like a thick walls are given in this picture you can see the embankments are made up of earth and stones and concrete which prevent which is given near the bank of the river to prevent washing away of soil during heavy rain and flood this also prevent the surrounding areas from flood next process is overgrazing checking overgrazing now overgrazing of grassland by animals like goat sheep cow should be checked you know that when such animals freely moves about in the field for grazing they spoil the soil by not only eating the weeds or grasses shrubs that grown on that very field they are hoops also spoil the soil which leads to soil erosion so this should be avoided for them separate grazing ground should be earmarked and crops for them should be grown in that very area in a large quantities so that they can graze throughout the year on that very field so proper grazing ground should be chosen for the animals in this way soil erosion can be checked other way also can be followed to check soil erosion like making gut wall with uh, concrete and wire grid you can see in this picture uh, uh, hill slopes condition after and before making the wall before making the wall the by continuous landslide the soil become bare but after giving the wall and wire grid soil erosion is checked for which you can see here grass is grown which prevent soil erosion during rainfall another process is hydro seeding this technology is used where planting is not process or it is done in a very large areas where planting is difficult so hydro seeding uh, is a way which is done by spraying a mixture of water grass seeds compost and fertilizer so by applying such spray after few days grass is grown from their seeds here in this picture you can see a man is spraying here you can see in this picture a man is spraying such slurry on the hill slopes and here after few days the hill slopes is filled with grasses no so this is one of the new technique can be followed so these are the ways we can follow to prevent soil erosion and protect the soil so student uh, today up to this much and next day we will discuss about exercise question answer and thank you okay